Hi there, this is Teresa. Welcome back to the channel. We are going to do you versus them, Aries through Pisces, all signs, to see what is your intentions versus your person's intentions. If you are interested in doing an in-depth reading with your particular situation, my website is timelessdivinetarot.com. I do have a 24 to 48 hour turnaround. Keep in mind, this is general collective, only take what resonates. Feel free to check out your sun, moon, or rising placements. All right, let's go ahead and start with Aries first. All right, Aries, let's see what the energy is. For you, you're in the devil energy. Your person is in the Knight of Swords. So you're kind of obsessed with the idea of turning your back on your person because of something. Your person is rightfully trying to defend their stance or defend their position when it comes to you. Your intentions is the Five of Cups. You feel hurt, you feel disappointed, you feel obsessed with slowly pulling back your energy, pulling back your feelings and emotions. Your person's intentions is the king of cups. So they want to love you, they wanna have compassion for your feelings, but they feel like they need to defend their own feelings, their own emotions, and they want you to have compassion for them. So what's gonna be the likely outcome? Ten of swords, two of pentacles, and the Eight of Swords. So it looks like both of you are kind of at a standstill, a standoff, so be it that you're both caught up in your head quite a bit. You both are um, kind of growing old and tired of the situation that maybe this has been a repeated cycle that needs to come to an end, but neither one of you are making the decision to make the other person's feelings a priority. You're both kind of in a very um, independent energy within yourselves and you're both continuing to stay caught up in your head. So what's the advice for Aries when it comes to the situation between them and their person? Sing your own song, the Canary Spirit. So the number 12, January, February, or March could be significant for you. You are obsessed with the way you feel, and there's something about singing your own song, understanding exactly um, how you feel. Let me pull the book on this one. I want to see what this says for number 12. Let's take a look. Canary arrives to help you with your authentic voice and expressing what's in your heart. Free yourself from experiencing your inner light and let it shine. Reminding you to have joy and support as you sing your own song. Now's the time to let the world know who you really are. This is a message that you're free to be yourself and express your most cherished desires. The world wants to hear your song and in this inquiry of a relationship, you're being called to fully be yourself for only then you will find peace and harmony. So this is about singing to the beat of your own drum. Even though your person wants you to be compassionate for them, there's something about you have overwhelming feelings and emotions with the situation with the two of you. And even though your person is trying to defend their stance, there's something about you not conforming or not um, undoing or letting go your own feelings, your own integrity in the situation. All right, so let's move on to Taurus. Taurus, if you want your own personalized and depth reading, my website is TimelessDivineTarot.com. I do have a 24 to 48 hour turnaround. All right, Taurus, you and your person, let's see what the energy is for each of you and what your intentions are in the situation between Taurus and their person. Taurus and their person. Okay, Taurus, your energy is the Five of Wands. So you feel like there's fight, the intensity is a lot. Your person's energy is the witch. So this is somebody who's in a very independent energy. Your intentions is the three of swords. You feel hurt, you feel disappointed, you feel let down with the situation. Your person's intention is the world. They're, they're forcing themselves to look at this situation differently. They're forcing themselves to say, okay, I've always been um, independent. I've always kind of done things my way. Now I need to look at things the way Taurus is looking at things. Likely outcome, the two of wands. I'm hearing follow the yellow brick road right there from the movie, the Alice in Wonderland. Justice, so they're following the path of truth by doing the introspection and the magician. So this is somebody who does desire to have the truth revealed. This person wants you to see things from their perspective. They're going to try to convince you to look at things their way. It's not going to work. You're going to actually understand um, what you truly want and desire, and you're going to be able to have this person learn how to not hurt you going forward. So what is the advice for Taurus at this time?
the nightingale spirit love is all around you number 41 so april january or may could be significant let's look at 41. so 41. the nightingale is all about in the darkness of night the nightingale sings the song of love and hope a dawn to remind you that sun will rise again soon you are loved. The illumination of this song is calling you to a new level of self-awareness and connecting to the light. There is always shadows and darkness, but love and prosperity exist everywhere, even in what seems to be empty space or darkness right now between you and your person. So the message is let the music of the song remind you that love is all around you. Feel it and trust in tomorrow's renewal of the ability to recognize any empty spaces that have not been illuminated to you, but they will be illuminated soon. So being able to understand your person does love you. You don't feel that right now, but they do. And you need to also be loving yourself during this time period. Okay, Gemini. Gemini. Okay, Gemini. If you want your own personalized in-depth reading, my website is TimelessDivineTarot.com. I do have a 24 to 48 hour turnaround. Okay, Gemini, what is your energy versus your person's energy? Metamorphosis, your person's energy, the messenger. So your person wants to communicate something. You are in an energy of feeling like things need to grow and evolve, that everything's happened for a reason. Your intentions is the temperance. So you intend to heal the situation between the two of you. You're also pouring into yourself be, while you're being patient and you're healing from it because you're growing as you're learning about it. Your person's intentions is a star. So they do intend to communicate to you how much they're going to pour in the connection. They also are very hopeful and optimistic about the situation. The likely outcome is the Knight of Pentacles, the Queen of Wands, and the Queen of Cups. So it does feel like slowly this commitment is turning around. So whatever you've been through recently, you've learned your lesson. Your person is learning by openly communicating. There is um, a energy of both of you being more compassionate towards each other during this time period, during this transition. You're trying to be pouring into each other, but there is some healing that is still taking place. So what is the best advice for Gemini during this time period? What is the advice for Gemini? The cat spirit, number 13, claim your independence. So January, March, or April could be significant. So let's look at 13 is all about letting something end for something new to begin. Let's look at 13. Claim your independence. When the cat spirit meows, it's calling you to claim your independence and allow for some space between you and your person. The only way you can grow in your relationship is to have a healthy sense of self-respect and self-worth. When you walk with dignity, know who you are, self-awareness, and willing to grow. Trusting the value that you bring, the world will mirror this all back to you. And that's what I said. You're growing and evolving from the situation that's happened between you and your person. Cancer. All right, Cancer, if you want your own personalized in-depth reading, my website is TimelessDivineTarot.com. I do have a 24 to 48 hour turnaround. Cancer. All right, Cancer, what is your energy versus your person's energy right now? What is Cancer's energy? The Ace of Pentacles, your person's energy, the Seven of Wands. So you want to have an opportunity um, to have this commitment. You want to be able to communicate something with your person, something that's reliable. This could be um, a newer connection. Your person is kind of guarded. So let's see what your intentions are. The Eight of Swords. So you are caught up in your head whether or not this person's going to give you commitment. Your person's intentions is the Eight of Wands. You both are in this Eight energy. So they are going to communicate with you. If they are moving forward. They just have had a lot of um, guarded energy that maybe they feel like it's a little bit of a risk let's see the outcome the world okay so if you were single and you're just casually dating they're wanting to let that go 
Ten of Pentacles. So they do see a future with you. They're hopeful and optimistic and the Queen of Cups. So they are going to open up. If you've been waiting for this person to express some feelings and emotions, to have some compassion for your feelings and emotions, they had not done that. They're doing that now. They're getting ready to openly communicate. They're moving things forward. They see a future. They see that they need to do what they need to do to not lose you and not let you go. So let's see, Cancer, what's your advice? What is the best advice or guidance for cancer during this time period serving their highest good? Number 68, the womb bat spirit be at home. So June, August could be significant. May could also be significant. Let's look at 68. 68. Be at home, burrowings deep into the ground, remaining safe and sound and well-fed with the family. It's a special trait of the womb cat. Home sweet home is always available if you recognize the well-being and the truth of your life. This reminds you that you are truly at home in the world. You need to find comfort within your own skin. And doing this is accepting all your experiences without judgment through deep honesty and love in your life. When you feel the freedom to be yourself, you can begin to truly feel at home in your life with your family and your tribe. Right now, you're in a beautiful place where you can hang up your coat of your identity and settle in true sense of home and well-being. Understanding that all is going to be well. Everything you do from this place rings true in harmony with spirit. So you are at home and comfortable with getting understanding that this person's coming towards you because you do have a sense of comfort with knowing yourself and knowing what you want with this person and this person wants the same thing okay leo leo if you want your own personalized in-depth reading my website is timelessdivinetarot.com i do have a 24 to 48 hour turnaround all right leo you versus your person what is your energy what is your person's energy what do you, you both have for your intention? Leo. What's Leo's energy? The King of Swords. Your person. The Two of Swords. So you're a little bit on the defense, Leo, when it comes to this person. Your person's not certain. They're a little bit blinded to what the reality is. What's your intentions? The Ace of Cups. You want them to love you. You want them to open up. You want them to be emotionally attached to you. You want an opportunity. You want them to drink your bath water, I'm hearing. Your person's intentions is page of pentacles. So this is somebody who is devoted to you, Leo. They're slowly maybe working towards giving you that love offer. They're just not there yet. Outcome, eight of cups. Seven of pentacles and two of pentacles. This person and you are both juggling. You're juggling in different ways. You want this person to open up on an emotional basis. This person is confused on how to open up on an emotional basis, but it does look like you both are taking the chance and being able to go towards continuing to invest because you do see at the end of the day, even though your priorities are a little bit different because your person is making it a priority to kind of come around, but not emotionally, but on the um, commitment level. And you're wanting them to come around on the emotional. So you're kind of juggling with both of you getting there, but it does look like you're both still gonna invest. You're gonna get there at the end of the day. It's just gonna take a little bit more time. It's gonna be a little bit more of a struggle because you're not balanced with what it is that you're both giving. But it does look like you're both willing to let the past be the past if this is a reconciliation. This is a newer person. You're letting go of belief systems that you were attached to and changing your perspective. So what's the advice for Leo? What's the guidance for Leo at this time? Okay, so number 38, so March, August, or November could be significant. Lizard spirit, dream the world into being. Okay, so let's look at number 38. Happy birthday, Leo, also. Okay, dream the world into being. When was the last time you basked in the sun and allowed yourself to daydream, to imagine what might be and what might become? This appears when you're called to let your imagination flow and dream something new. Inspiration is available to you. Now are you willing to slow down and let your eyes close a little, allowing ideas to dance in your head? What night come 
into being if you were to pursue your dream? How might you grow and expand if you allowed yourself, dear, to believe in the impossible, making it possible first in the dream? Giving the power of imagination, soon your dream will become clearer. The steps will reveal themselves and what was once a dream will come into fruition. Dream it and it be. Spirit asks you to dare to dream big. So this is an opportunity for you to dream something massive when it comes to this connection. So this is reconciliation. You want to get married. Maybe you dream that you're marrying this person and that's the vision you put in your mind. If it's a newer person, maybe you vision this person saying, you know what? I want to be exclusive. Give me time. I'm going to be able to open up to you in time, but I want you to be patient with me and allow me to take it at my pace. And then you vision this person having this heartfelt connection and this conversation with you. All right, uh, Virgo. Virgo, if you want your pers own personalized in-depth reading, my website is timelessdivinetarot.com. I do have a 24 to 48 hour time. All right, Virgo, you versus your person. What is your energy versus your person's energy? What are your intentions versus your person's intentions? And what's going to be the likely outcome for Virgo and their person? Okay, Virgo. Your energy, ten of cups, nine of, what is this, nine of cups? I think it's nine. The person's energy is the nine of pentacles. Okay, nine, nine. So you're in an energy of feeling like this person is everything you've wished for, everything you've dreamt about. Your person's in an energy of living their best life. They're looking really good. They're very successful. They know exactly what they want. So your intentions is the justice. You want to know the truth. If you feel this person is a wish fulfillment, do they feel that way about you? Your person's intentions is the queen of wands. So they're taking the lead. They're a little bit fiery with taking the lead um, maybe into a relationship, but they are ignited. They are, the spark has already been ignited within them. Likely outcome, 10 of wands, six of wands, Knight of Swords. There's going to be a conversation about defeat and accountability here between the two of you. And it does feel like there's history here with this Ten of Wands. So somebody's going to take accountability for something that happened. You've been wanting the truth from this person. You know, maybe you've been investing in it and you've been waiting for this person to give you some sign of it's going to be okay. It's going to work out. This person is feeling inspired to take the lead to say something to you about it. The Knight of Swords is somebody who maybe is wanting to aggressively let you know how they feel. Maybe that they're not ready for commitment, but they may be ready for commitment in the future. It is somebody who's feeling inspired to speak their truth that maybe they just got out of a really tough relationship and they have to take accountability on their own healing in their own healing's journey. So it does feel like that is going to come out. You're going to get the truth when it comes to this person. doesn't feel like it's a relationship. Um, it feels like it's on hold or it's pending. So if you've been expecting a relationship right now, it's not going to happen. If you've been expecting reconciliation. There is accountability taking place, but there's not a relationship. So what is the best advice for Virgo? What's going to serve their highest good at this time that they need to know? 55, so May or October, significant snake spirit, time to heal. Okay, so let's look at number 55. Time to heal. All of us are healing at times, and when snake spirit appears, it's time to repair, renew, and replenish yourself and your vulnerable heart. Self-care and maintenance work are needed so that you, so that your vitality can arise. Give yourself the space to nourish your own well-being. Vulnerability is necessary for friendships and partnerships to work, which means all of us have to tender our own emotions at times. Be gentle with yourself and others. Shed the past and step into a new way of being, and you will rise again. So that is your best piece of advice at this time. Okay, Libra. All right, Libra, if you want your own personalized in-depth reading, my website is TimelessDivineTarot.com. I do have a 24 to 48 hour turnaround. Libra, what is your energy versus your person's energy? What is your intentions versus your person's intentions? Libra. All right, your energy, Eight of Swords. So you're caught up in your head about the situation. 
your person's energy, the page of pentacles. This is somebody who, it's kind of like this lost puppy. They, they have um, a sense of innocence to them, a sense of immaturity to them. Your intentions is the nine of pentacles. You're intending to stay single because you are cut up in your head. Your person's intentions is the metamorphosis. So they are intending to grow up and evolve. So what's gonna be the likely outcome? We've got the Knight of Pentacles. We've got the Hierophant. And we've got the Ace of Cups. Beautiful. So it looks like, even though you're intending to maybe stay single, it looks like slowly but surely you guys are turning this into a beautiful commitment. It's an opportunity for both of you to open up, grow and evolve in time. It is something that you both are initially not thinking is going to happen, but over time it is going to happen. So let's get you some advice. What is the best advice or guidance for Libra at this time period that's going to serve their highest good? What is the advice or the guidance that Libra needs to know during this time period? Number 67. So June, July could be significant. Wolf spirit. Turn knowledge into wisdom. So let's take a look at number 67. 67. Wolf spirit leads you to deep into the enchanted forest that holds the secrets to your life. Can you sense her beckoning you to follow, asking you to take on all the learned and all the learning, making it yours? Can you integrate all into the body, mind, and spirit? Whatever lessons you're learning along the way, do not leave them unexplained. Be loyal to your dreams, your soul, and you're turning knowledge into wisdom and experience into magic. You're the one who has been waiting for it. Be still and know that the sound of your heart beats in the harmony of the world. This is an omen that says you're truly in alignment with your destiny. So this is a connection that don't allow it to disrupt your flow of your path and your individual journey, but you are gaining more knowledge and information. Your, your energy is ramping up like a snowball because of this connection. Doors are gonna open up for you. Scorpio, if you want your own personalized in-depth reading, you versus them, I do offer on my website, timelessdivinetarot.com. I do have a 24 to 48 hour turnaround. Let's see what the energy is between you and your person, what your intentions are versus your person's intentions. Scorpio. What is Scorpio's energy versus their person's energy? Your energy, the Six of Wands. You want victory and success. Your person's energy is the King of Cups. So they do want love and compassion. They feel a lot of emotional contentment. Your intentions is the Five of Pentacles. You intend to maybe... Um, have victory and success, but you don't want to feel left out in the cold in the process. Your person's intentions is the Six of Pentacles. They are intending to give to this connection more than what they have in the past. What's going to be the likely outcome? The Nine of Cups. The Knight of Swords. And the Temperance. So there is some patience required here for you and your person. There's also some healing that does need to take place. Your intentions is not to feel left out in the cold, to not be taken advantage financially from this person. Your person's intending to give more than what they did in the past. Maybe you were the one who always paid for stuff when you guys went out and did stuff, and now they're realizing they can't do that, that they need to step up and they need to be able to um, contribute more than what they did in the past. Maybe they didn't tell you how they felt, and now they're realizing that they need to pour into the connection on an emotional basis. So let's see what is the best advice or guidance for Scorpio. What do they need to know that's going to serve their highest good when it comes to them and their person? What is the advice or the guidance for Scorpio? Number 27. So February, July, or September could be significant. Fox spirit, think on your feet. So let's take a look at number 27. Think on your feet. Be alert now. As this spirit has appeared, you're meant to move swiftly. Let your clever spirit draw out your creativity as you adjust to rapidly changing circumstances with resilience, grace, and structure. Fox spirit helps you to think on your feet using your best judgment and wits to help you slip into a more advantageous situation. Now is a time not to hesitate, but a time for swift action of the mind. A time to think outside the box and notice the many ways in which you may Make a move, aware of your surroundings and always clear on what you deserve and wish to co-create. Trust your cleverness and it will serve you all as well.
So you need to use your intuition in being patient with the situation. Okay, Sagittarius, if you want your own personalized in-depth reading, my website is timelessdivinetarot.com. I do have a 24 to 48 hour turnaround. Okay, Sagittarius, you versus your person. What is your energy versus your person's energy? What is your intentions versus your person's intentions? Sagittarius. <clears throat> Sagittarius. One more shuffle. Okay. Your energy. Queen of Wands. There you are, fiery. Person's energy is the justice, the truth be told. They want fair and balance. Your intentions, two of cups. You intend to choose this person. You love this person. You're committing to this person. Your person's in the two of wands. So they feel like the truth is going to be prevailed that you're going on this journey together. You're embarking together. The outcome, the knight of wands. Ten of pentacles, beautiful. And the Ten of Wands. So if this is an X, you're both taking accountability for the past mistakes that have happened. You're both feeling inspired to let the past be the past. You're ready to start and embrace a brand new future with the Ten of Pentacles. If you don't have history with this person, you both are learning the lessons you needed to from those prior experiences. And you're realizing what you want with each other. You're both in the twos energy. So you could be seeing a lot of twos lately. And this is an exchange of making decisions. And you're both making the choice and decision that you see something for the future. You see something lasting. The Knight of Wands, you're both feeling inspired to keep heading on towards whatever this Ten of Pentacles is. Living together, um, having everlasting commitment to each other. There's a sense of loyalty. There's a sense of longevity. Like, I'm dating you with the intention of dating you not just temporarily, but for the long term. You're both investing in the situation for the future. And that's something that you both are seeing the potential. So let's get some advice for Sagittarius. What is the best advice or guidance that is going to serve Sagittarius' highest good at this time? This could be a twin flame or a soulmate, Sagittarius. What is the advice or the guidance for Sagittarius? 55. So May or October could be significant. Snake spirit, time to heal. So let's take a look at 55. Somebody else got the snake spirit too. I don't remember what sign that was. All of us need healing at times. And when this appears, it's time to repair, renew, and replenish yourself and your vulnerable heart. Self-care and maintenance work as needed so that your vitality can arise. Give yourself space to nourish your own well-being. Vulnerability is necessary for friendships and partnerships at work, which means all we have tender emotions at times. Be gentle with yourself and trust now. Shed the past and step into a new way of being. The vitality is rising you. This is a good time to work, the, to honor the work you've done. Grow and repair any damage within you and those around you in your community. And that's what this Ten of Wands is. Whether this is somebody from the past, you need to shed the skin of the past to reemerge. And by shedding, that is healing and being at a place of peace with accepting your, your accountability and theirs from the past and not bringing it into this current energy. If it's a new person, it's, it's the same thing, just accepting your healing journey that you need to be um, in fully before you be in a relationship with them. Capricorn. All right, Capricorn, if you want your own personalized in-depth reading, my website is timelessdivinetarot.com. I do have a 24 to 48 hour turnaround. Okay, Capricorn. You versus your person, what is your energy versus your person's energy? What is your intentions versus your person's intentions? Let's find out. Capricorn, one more. Okay. All right, Capricorn, your energy, five of pentacles. You feel abandoned. You feel left out in the cold. You feel neglected by this person financially. Your person's energy is the king of wands. I'm hearing I want at all costs. So your person maybe feels like they won when it came to the situation between the two of you. Your intentions is justice. You want justice served. So this person stole money from you, you want your money back. If they stole your clothes, you want your clothes back. If there's something that they took from you monetarily, you want back. 
their intentions is the Ten of Wands. They're, they're intending to accept the defeat of the situation, take accountability for what they, whatever they took from you. What's going to be the likely outcome? Wheel of Fortune. Karma's going to bite somebody in the booty because of what they did. The moon, their intuition is telling them, hey, you better give Capricorn their money or their clothes back, whatever they took, and the page of swords. They're going to see the truth. Their intuition is telling them that if they don't do the right thing, what you do to others will be done to you. So if they stole money out of your bank account, someone's going to steal money out of their bank account. If they took something from you, someone's going to take something from them. It, it You give what you get. If you are taking you're going to be taken, something's going to be taken from you. So that's what's going to happen is the truth's going to come out. Real fortune, this person's about to have some bad luck. They know intuitively they need to take accountability and do the right thing. All right, let's see. What is the advice? What is the guidance? What is um, going to serve Capricorn's highest good? What do they need to know at this time? Number 49, the rabbit spirit. Now is a lucky time. April or September or November could be significant. Let's look at 49. A sunny meadow calls, rabbit spirit appears to lead you out of your dark warren and into the light so that you can participate in a fertile and beautiful experience. It may seem safe below ground, but the magic happens when you come out and take the risk of being vulnerable and co-creating something new. You're being invited into a new life that has no you have no experience in, but be no fear. Today is a time to be fruitful and productive as the rabbit spirit is a a sunny and energetic energy. At the time, whatever you intend to bring to life will find fertile ground. There's no mistakes really. When you are co-creating with spirit, let new ideas sing to the surface and spring to the surface, knowing that luck is a possibility for you right now. So there's something about you feel vulnerable over the situation. You will be in luck if you do the right thing when it comes to the situation with you and this person. So maybe if you tell them, I want my money back or you're going to have consequences. Maybe they'll give you your money back or whatever it was. Aquarius. You want your own personalized in-depth reading? My website is timelessdivinetarot.com. I do have a 24 to 48 hour turnaround. All right, Aquarius. What is your energy versus your person's energy? What is your intention versus your person's intentions? Aquarius. Aquarius and their person. Okay, your energy, King of Cups, you're in your feelings and emotions. Your person's energy, the sun, they are feeling happy too. Your intentions, Two of Pentacles, you're juggling something here. Your person's intentions is the moon. They're using their intuition to guide them about healing things, being happier. What's gonna be the outcome? The hangman. So there is a new perspective coming into the situation. The seven of pentacles, there's going to be a different type of investment than what was in the past. Whatever you invested in the past worked up to this point, but now there's going to be a different investment. And the two of swords, there is a sense of uncertainty of what this investment is going to look like, but it does look like both of you are looking at things differently. You're wanting to pour back into the connection. You're wanting to heal things. They're using their intuition. You're trying to juggle what the priority needs to be, but it does look like there is a sense of uncertainty of what this investment is going to look like in the long run, but there is going to be that investment. So let's see what is the advice or the guidance for Aquarius at this time period? What's going to serve their highest good that they need to know at this time for Aquarius? The stag spirit, take the lead. So May, August could be significant. Let's look at 58. Take the lead. Whether or not you have set your intention to lead, you may found yourself suddenly called to step up in the forefront of your life. This is a reminder that now is the time to heed the call to be sure, strong, and compassionate. Others will look to you and have it within you to see through the eyes of the spirit, walking with confidence as you take on the responsibilities that are yours. Now, and model integrity in all that you do in all your relationships. Be willing to see the best in others so that your compassionate heart keeps you on the right path. Spirit wants you to know that your responsibilities now are to be true to yourself, for you're learning and developing new school skills, 
And you're coming into view to step forward with the strength that's supporting you by compassionately taking the lead in the situation. So leading with compassion is going to be very significant for you. Pisces, if you want your own personalized in-depth reading, my website is timelessdivinetarot.com. I do have a 24 to 48 hour turnaround. Okay, Pisces, you versus your person. What is your energy versus your person's energy? What is your intentions versus your person's intentions? Let's find out for Pisces what's going on. Pisces. Your energy. Nine of Pentacles. Your person's energy. The Hierophant. They're learning something from you during this process. Your intentions. The King of Wands. So you intend to feel inspired to maybe stay single. Your person's intentions is a 10 of pentacles. They don't want you to be single. They wanna be in a relationship with you forever. The outcome, justice. The temperance. And the em empath, which is the emperor. So it feels heavily right now, Pisces, like you want to stay single. You want to defend your stance to take the lead to stay single. Your person wants higher level of commitment. They want to get married. They want to live together. They want to get engaged. They want something long-term everlasting. And the truth is you need time. You need time. You need patience. You need them to be empathetic to your needs and your desires. And you're not budging from that. So let's see what's going to be um, the advice or the guidance for Pisces. What does Pisces need to know? That's going to serve their highest good at this time. What is the advice or the guidance for Pisces? I'm hearing you're playing checkers and they're playing chess. Okay, you got two pieces of advice. The first one is the lion spirit. Be generous of spirit, number 37. So March, July, or October could be significant. And you also got moth spirit. Surrender now, 39. March, September, or December could be significant. Let's look at each of these. 37 is your first piece of advice. You're the only one that got two pieces of advice. Okay, a healthy ego means you ease God's order instead of edging God's out. Lion spirit appears in a reminder that you have been given the gift of pride and a healthy sense of your worth to express the divine, authentic self in a unique way. You are both the king and the queen. Secure the prosperity of the, of the wisdom and generous spirit that you have helped others. That's why you're in that nine of pentacles spirit. Take pride in your ability to serve from the heart. Contentment with what you have right now, allowing you to use your resources wisely as you give to others in ways like education, healing, inspiration, or delight. Be proud but yet humble. Practice gratitude and you will find that everything will come to you in the joy of knowing that you're able to do for others and expressing the, the generosity within you. So this is about recognizing and being generous towards what you've already been given from spirit. And this relationship or this connection that wants a relationship is something the universe is giving to you. Now, surrender now is your other piece of advice. So let's look at 39. Okay. Surrender now. This asks, what is guiding you right now? Are you in an alignment with spirit or pursuing something or someone with so much tenacity that it becomes compulsive or an addiction? Are you intoxicated by a potential relationship or opportunity that you can't think straight? Hard work and dedication are virtues and love, of course, is a beautiful thing. However, when this appears, it's time to consider if you have gone over the edge of the relentless pursuit. Overworking, overeating, perfectionism, an addiction to a certain way. Maybe you've been addicted to being single. The form of your addiction does not matter so much as the awareness of the consequences remaining persistent when moderation is needed. Let go of your excessive energy by channeling it in more than one direction. The fire burns hot and you do not want to be engulfed by the passion and the pursuits that matter to you. Now is the time to surrender and radically accept so that your drives do not cause you to flee or flight. Spirit wants you to release your need for certainty and control so that you can relax in a more balanced way of using your energy. So this is all about you have been very generous and because of that, your success has been built up and you are not wanting to give this person maybe a relationship or a connection because of that. Spirit is saying, 
You might want to surrender now because this is the blessing that you actually had wanted maybe quite some time ago that you were trying to manifest. Your divine timing is at play right now. So use your intuition and guidance to steer you in the right direction that if you do need patience, there is something about you letting this person know the truth is you may do, you may want a relationship here in the near future. You might just need a little more time to be accepting of it that it's happening now and versus when you thought it was going to happen in the past.